Hey man, are you still using Linux? Can't you be normal like everyone else and use Windows? Sorry buddy, I prefer the privacy and freedom that comes with using free software. I don't want to be normal. What privacy are you talking about? You don't have something to hide, do you? It's not like this matters anyway. Your compromises makes you miss out on so much industry standard software. You're punishing yourself for no reason. Wait, do you think I am the one who is making the compromise? Oh man, have you seen the news? Have you seen it? Microsoft has a new feature that screenshots everything I do on my computer. This is insane. What am I going to do now? You could always join the dark side where freedom and privacy matter. What you have just seen, my friends are like that. They care for me and I love them for that. See, I have only just recently fully embraced my free software lifestyle. The word lifestyle is important for context. It's not just about switching to Linux. I started with Linux a long time ago, but I have been on the normal people train for most of my computing time. How did Windows manage to become the mainstream operating system? Well, Bill Gates managed to sell it to us and we have embraced it. We are the ones who choose to make Windows mainstream, not Microsoft. It's like voting. But in this video, my plan was to talk about something else, something more personal. Just as my friends ask me why I don't use Windows, they equally ask me why I don't use Google. Well, maybe not this directly, but it's a well-known fact that Google gets the job done and everything else is a waste of time. So once again, we are the ones who actively enable Google's monopoly in the search engine space. Now don't get me wrong, before Google was born, I had to use at least three search engines in parallel, like Alta Vista, Yahoo and Lycos. And even after using all three of them, I would sometimes end up shorthanded with no meaningful search results. Google changed this landscape radically. It was a well-deserved victory. However, with great power comes great responsibility. And here lies the problem. When I talk privacy, many people think that privacy is only for those who have something to hide, but it's not like that at all. I stopped using Google seven years ago when Google damaged me. At the time I was having medical problems which were unresolved for a very long time, so I googled my uh, symptoms in order to attempt to educate myself on my condition. Naturally, Google used what it learned about me to serve me ads. And so they started serving me ads for cancer. Yes, many different cancer scenarios started appearing all over the internet, which further destabilized me mentally. Now you may wonder why simply not use ad blockers and, you know, be done with it. Well, yes, clearly I am doing that now. But not just that. I do my best to keep Google in the dark about my private life because they can't be trusted about anything other than earning money on my illness. That's the only thing I trust them to do well. And so seven years have passed and I have been super happy with using private search engines and ad blockers everywhere. In those seven years, I have barely touched any Google services besides occasional email that still arrives on my Gmail address. And I have not been using Google Play Store for years as well. But recently I have started using YouTube while being logged in for obvious reasons. And one thing led to another and I have started watching other YouTube creators because I'm hungry per, for knowledge. If this is getting boring, here comes the plot twist. In my YouTube timeline I started being served cancer patient videos. How the f*** does Google remember that after all those years? Clearly I have grown to dislike any algorithmically generated content to such a degree that I am willing to go above and beyond to escape it. I use Mastodon instead of Twitter and I have been super happy with that decision. Now let me introduce a new way to watch my video content. Peertube. 
For those of you unfamiliar, Peertube works a lot like Mastodon, and I like to say that Mastodon works a lot like email. We can all be on the same server, or each one of us can have their own server. Either way, we can all communicate with each other, and equally, you can watch my Peertube content from the comfort of your own Peertube instance, or from the comfort of your own Mastodon instance. Now how awesome is that? Now this YouTube channel is not going anywhere. Plenty of you prefer to keep the status quo on the dominance of big tech and I don't blame you. I am only giving you another option to watch my videos in a privacy respecting manner and I will leave it up to you to pick the one you prefer. These are my links but you can also find them clickable below this video. If you have liked this video I would kindly ask you to support me on Patreon if you can and you're going to see me in the next video.